hello guys welcome to our last video uh actually this is going to be our last video uh in this series <laughs> and here i'll be showing you a real example like uh here i'm going to convert a pytorch model uh to tensorflow uh then uh, you can get the idea like yeah how you can like convert any kinds of you can say the model format to another model format and you can also do it vice versa, like you can set TensorFlow to PyTorch, okay? You can also do that. I will give you some resources so you can like refer that. Uh, so yeah, so it is like quite easy. So uh, here, first of all, we need to uh, keep uh, one thing in our mind. So whenever we are convert, uh, so whenever we are converting any kinds of a model to another file format, so here we need to follow two steps, okay? So what are the two steps so first of all here i'm going to convert pytorch model to tensorflow so what i need to do first of all i'll be uh, we can say training our you can say pytorch model and i'll be converting to the onyx file format okay like that means the dot onyx uh, you can say model file format and from the dot onyx file format i will be con converting to our tensorflow okay so this is the two steps you need to uh, keep in your mind uh, so whenever you are working with the any kinds of you can say framework or any kinds of you can say model uh, file format okay so uh, let's say you are uh, using tensorflow now you want to convert it to the pytorch so what you need to do first of all you need to uh, train your model using the tensorflow then you will be converting that model to the onyx file format and from the onyx file format you will be converting to the pytorch okay that's how uh, you have to go through step by step so i think now you get the idea so uh, now i'll be showing you the demo okay i will uh, i will show you the code like how you can do that and uh, uh, you can uh, just uh, hands on and you just try to run that code okay the uh, notebook file would be available inside your resources sec section and just try to run that code okay then you will get more idea so let let me show you so guys uh, now i'm in my uh, collab okay you can use uh, your jupyter notebook also it's fine but i don't want to set up uh, in my local system so that's why i'm using the collab so you can also utilize that so first of all what you need to do uh, so here you need to set up your necessary packages like uh, your onyx then your uh, if you are working with the tensorflow so you, you need the tensorflow additions okay then uh, i'll be cloning the this uh, then i'll be cloning this onyx uh, to this tensorflow converter okay uh, um, official github repository i've uh, I'm, i'll be clo cloning so that's how like uh, it would be like more easy uh, to use uh, th that's why i will be doing that so now let's uh, run uh, one by one so first of all you need to uh, install the onyx uh, so here i'm installing the onyx although it is like uh, i think uh, installed inside your collab but uh, but i'm installing that okay mm, it's fine uh, because you can refer that code in your local also then i will be installing this uh, tensorflow addition then i am also cloning this uh, onyx to tensorflow okay this github repository and i'm set up in, uh, that setup that file uh, and I'm also set up in this setup.py file, okay, here. And after uh, installing that, you need to restart your runtime, make sure. So here you need to restart the runtime. Uh, yeah, it is re recommended, uh, you have to follow. So yes, I have restarted my runtime. Now uh, you need to like, you, you can say install your Torx vision uh, because uh, I'll be using this Torx vision, okay, because I, I'll be using the Amnist uh, handwritten data set from here. And uh, now I'll be importing some libraries. Okay, some necessary libraries like uh, this uh, uh, data set transform. Okay, then this uh, autograd. Okay, th then our, uh, because fighters, then this uh, neural network from this fighters. Okay, because here I'll be, uh, uh, because here I'll be creating a small model and I'll be training my MNIST handwritten data set here. Uh, I think you are already familiar with this uh, kinds of, you can say code. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna explain, okay, in depth. So I think you get that. Now here I'm also importing my Onyx and this Onyx TF dot backend prepared. Okay, so what it will do, it will, you can say, uh, make the conversion to the TF, uh, you can say TensorFlow, uh, that means this dot PB format. Okay, now let me import the libraries. So after importing the libraries here, uh, I'm doing nothing here, yeah, just I'm defining my uh, neural network model. That means our CNN model, I'm just uh, defining. Uh, this is the PyTorch, you can say uh, code example. Uh, so that's how you, you create any kinds of, you can say conventional neural network. And uh, this is my train and test uh, function. Okay, so this is not fancy. Okay, I think you are already familiar with that, I'm assuming. And after that, uh, I'm downloading my data set and I'm, uh, you can say also, uh, you can say defining main train and test loader data loader 
and also you can say i'm uh, uh, optimizer i'm also set upping then this is my training loop okay i'm writing and here i'm i'm going to train just two epochs okay uh, because uh, it it would be it would be taking time because it will take time so that's why i will be just uh, uh, running just two epochs and i will be saving that model to the pytors file format okay now let me run that code So guys, as you can see, it is like downloading the data and uh, let's wait, uh, it will start the training as well. So see, it has started training and uh, this is your loss. This is your initial loss. And uh, I think uh, uh, in two epochs, you will get good accuracy because it's a simple problem. Okay. And our uh, neural network is like quite good. So yeah, you can get a good accuracy. Best point. So guys, uh, see, uh, you have ended up with this 96% of accuracy. Okay, uh, that is like quite good. And this is the loss. Now what I can do, I just, uh, I will just save that model uh, to this PTH file. Okay, because that is the PyTorch model file. If I talk about, uh, now if I run that code, now if I refresh here, so you can see this is my model right now. Uh, so yes, I have uh, done my first stage because I have trained up uh, Python's model and I have saved the model here. Now uh, I will be just you can say loading that model, and I will convert that model to our this Onyx file format. Okay, because that is like that was our like you can say first stage uh, as we have already seen from the image. Now let's uh, run that code. So this is the code for this conversion of this model. Now uh, if you just uh, refresh here and you can see your model uh, mnist.onyx file would be generated. This is your onyx uh, file right now, okay? And from this onyx uh, model, you will be converting to your TensorFlow. So after that, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to load it uh, to my uh, TensorFlow, or this onyx model, I'm going to load it, uh, load in my TensorFlow and I, will, uh, and I will be doing some checking operation, okay? It is like working or not. Actually, I will just uh, test some images on top of that. So that's why I have written a code. So let me um, load that. Uh, I have loaded my Onyx model. Now, this is the code for this. You can say run this, uh, run your Onyx model inside your uh, TensorFlow. So this is the code. Uh, you can uh, just read it. Okay, it's a simple code. Just if you read that, so I think you get the idea. Uh, but uh, before running that code, you need some images. Okay, like uh, this 3.png and 7.png. Actually, I have all. Actually, I already have these images. So what I will do, I will just uh, copy that images and paste it over here. We actually have uploaded those images. Now, if I run that code, so see, uh, so first image is your three and let's see the prediction. So see here, uh, this is like you can say it, it has classified as three and second image is like seven. So it has also predicted as seven, okay. Uh, so you can see like uh, this is like working good. Uh, actually, this is not a Python's uh, model right now. So this is our Onyx model and we are loading it our TensorFlow and we're doing the prediction. Now what I can do, this is not, uh, now we don't have any, you can say TensorFlow model here uh, because uh, now we have our Onyx model. So from the Onyx model itself, I have to convert to that TensorFlow because I've already checked it is working. This uh, Onyx model is working. Now I can save, uh, save to our TensorFlow model. So this is the code. Just you have to write uh, that line of code like tf uh, uh, repo.export graph. And you have to mention here, you can say mnist.pb. Uh, so it will just uh, save your model. Okay, so let me run. Uh, now, if you do the refresh operation, so see, this is the model as generated and inside you will get your set model.pb file. Okay, so this is your TensorFlow model. Now you can uh, use that model and load it your, your TensorFlow and you can uh, do the prediction. Okay, so see, uh, it was like uh, quite easy. Okay, and uh, actually some lines of step just you have to go through. Uh, you don't have to write, you can say much code for that, but uh, the implementation, but uh, the demo wise, like I have shown you this, uh, you can say dummy example like this uh, Python's training. Uh, if you are is, is skipping those uh, code, okay. So you can see like it is like a less number of code. Okay, you are just writing and you are doing the conversion. So yes, guys. Uh, I think now you got the idea like how to convert any kinds of Python's model to TensorFlow, and you can do is uh, and you can also convert it to TensorFlow uh, to Python's. Uh, it is not a fancy. So for that you can refer. Uh, there is uh, you can say Onyx uh, tutorial. Okay, uh, if you go 
to this github official github so you will uh, get a folder called tutorials and if you come here so you can see all the you can see possible uh you can see conversion are here okay you can directly refer there suppose you, if you want to convert to cafe 2 like so uh, suppose if, if you want to convert your model uh like a cafe 2 model to onyx okay so you can also do that so this is the notebook they have given so if you uh so if you open that so you will be uh, so if you open that so you will be seeing uh the code they have written okay already the code they have written you can directly pick that okay actually i have also referred from here okay so you can uh, also refer that and see all the packages okay all the packages are available so see uh, if i show you the pytors one so see uh, pytors on uh, export then pytors to cafe 2 then tensorflow to on okay so all the you can say possibility uh, all the possible uh, you can say conversion are available here okay so you can like uh, refer that uh, you can say uh, tutorial notebooks okay uh, directly uh, it's fine and uh, i've uh, given you the demo okay and i think it is enough for you uh, like uh, for getting started with this onyx and uh, now it's up to you just to explore more okay just try to hands on and just try to figure out uh, you can say some real a real time example and try to convert okay that's how you'll be uh, ending up uh, with a good learning experience so yes guys uh, this was all about uh, from this video okay and uh, and uh, our uh, series has been closed uh, i think uh, now you have glance of idea on onyx okay now we can i think uh, start working with the onyx uh, you can see system so yes guys uh, thank you so much for watching this uh, series and uh, i will see you next time